What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to talk about my favorite scenes in The Last Jedi. I'm not joking. It's not going to be a troll video. I'm going to be completely honest. Several people have asked me to name some of the aspects I liked about the movie. So I jotted a few things down because there are, there are some redeeming aspects of this movie, um, but they're all centered around um, the way it's shot and a few other things like that. Nothing really to do with the story at all. But uh, I jotted some things down, so let's go over them. And then I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. I know the majority of the comments are going to be, nothing was good about it. But here we go. Here's my few scenes that I can say are really good, or few things I liked about it. So the opening shot was cool. I actually really liked the opening shot when it kind of zoomed down really quick. I thought that was cool. We all, as Star Wars fans, we all anticipate the opening shot and that shot really was cool and even when you know I watched it multiple times and I finally was like man this movie sucks um, that shot was still very cool to me so yeah that was a good shot and overall it's a beautifully shot film I will stand by that it is a beautifully shot film and that's one of the reasons that it can really blow you away from from certain aspects of it because it is very beautifully shot I will never take that away from Ryan Johnson Kylo Ren is my favorite overall part of The Last Jedi, mainly because Adam Driver is a fantastic actor and he does a fantastic job of acting in this role. My big problem with Kylo, and I loved Kylo after The Force Awakens. I mean, I loved him. <sighs> taking his mask off, and again, I think Adam Driver is a fantastic actor, but taking Kylo's mask off it takes the mystery away. It takes the intimidation factor away. And I don't like it. That's the part that pisses me off about Kylo Ren in The Last Jedi. I'm fine with everything they did with him, but taking his mask off really just takes his intimidation factor away. Think about Darth Vader in the original trilogy without a mask. Like, if he shows up in the mask at first, you're like, holy shit, that's cool. And then all of a sudden... He just takes his mask off and he's walking around in a, in a suit. Like, that would be so bad. So Kylo without a mask, it's a big fail for me. And it took one of my favorite characters and has made him someone that, even though I enjoy his arc in The Last Jedi, I just don't, I just don't like the fact that they got rid of his mask. And it feels, it just doesn't feel right to me. So, um, the throne room scene. Okay, so the throne room scene... <sighs> This is this is a weird one for me because in the theaters, first viewing, I actually was blown away by the throne room scene. I really was. And it's because you weren't expecting that. I wasn't expecting what happened in the throne room scene. I wasn't expecting Snoke to get chopped in half. And the whole thing about Rey's parentage and everything. The fight scene was cool with the Praetorian Guard. And just seeing Kylo and Rey team up. Again, at that point, in that moment... I was like, what in the hell? This is crazy. Are we seriously doing this? And then ultimately, like 10 seconds later, it's like, no, nope, never mind. We're back to fighting. It's like, okay, whoa, wait a minute. Why did we even do this then? Then you watch that scene again, and it really loses its, it loses everything for me. It lost everything. Because again, I was taken by the moment, and I was taken by the jaw-dropping nature of it. And if they would have followed through with that, then I think that would have been awesome. But they didn't. It was basically a plot trick. And they used Snoke as a plot trick. And there's really, like, why did that even happen? Because literally nothing changed in the story. Kylo's still fighting Rey. Or they're still going at it. You know, like, wh wh what happened? I don't understand any of it. It's such a... Uh, it's so, so frustrating. And then the throne room itself, honestly, once all the dust settles... It's kind of cheesy looking. It really looks cheesy and it doesn't feel like Star Wars to me. Um, so anyway, I liked it on that first viewing because of the jaw-dropping moment. But once you watch it again and you're like, "What? What? wait a minute, why? Why? Why did, why did this even happen? There were so many different directions that could have gone. But whatever. I'm not, gonna, I'm not trying to be negative here. I'm trying to be genuine about some of the things I enjoyed. 
My single favorite moment in the entire film is the only moment that I believe we got a shot, a glimpse at Luke Skywalker. And that moment was the moment with he and R2 when R2 turned on the call or did the call back to A New Hope with Leia and Obi-Wan. That was a great moment. That gave me chills. I loved it so much. Um, the Luke and Yoda scene. I mean, look, who, who doesn't like seeing Yoda? And who doesn't like seeing Luke and Yoda together? I, and I get it. I get it. I get where they were going for with this. But at the end of the day, why, is, why, why does Yoda show up as crazy Yoda? I don't really understand that. Like, he's a force ghost now. He's not supposed to be the crazy Yoda that we got in Empire Strikes Back when he was messing with Luke. He should have been, you know, Yoda from his prime and Yoda acting like he was in his prime, not on his deathbed. So, I mean, I get it, though. It, it was a nice callback moment to Empire. And so... Obviously, seeing Yoda is cool, but once I thought about that more, I'm just like, he shouldn't be being crazy Yoda right now. He should be Yoda from, like, the Clone Wars, where, you know, he's really wise and he's really calm, cool, and collective. But, you know, we got crazy Yoda. So, again, not a terrible thing. I'm not saying that's awful. Just, it just didn't work for me once I started really thinking about it. Um, and then the last thing, I'll just say that the potential was there. Um, it really wasn't, and a lot of it blew me away on my initial viewing, but it's full of moments with no logic and no payoff. The obvious disrespect for The Force Awakens and the obvious disrespect for Luke Skywalker is ultimately what drags this down for me. Um, and then when you have these things that drive you crazy, once you really start thinking about them, then you really start looking at all the other aspects of it. And again, this is not me trying to go full hate The Last Jedi. I'm just, I'm just giving aspects of it for what really draws me back. And clearly, everything else that I don't like is on record. But what it comes down to is the lack of respect for The Force Awakens and the total disrespect for Luke Skywalker's character and fundamentally not understanding Luke Skywalker's character. Uh... But yeah, a lot of those moments, they, they, they blew me away. And why did Ahsoka disappear? A lot of those moments, they blew me away. And it was really cool. And uh, at the end of the day, there's not a whole lot of redeeming qualities. After I watched this, watched this movie multiple times, I started seeing it for the massive gaping hole that it was. And it's super disappointing. But I know there are people out there that like it. I'm, I'm happy for you. Um, I'm just not one of them and I tried my damnedest. So don't ever say I didn't try. Don't ever say I'm a Disney hater and I'm a Star Wars hater. I tried my damnedest to like this movie. I, you know, was total fanboying, um, and just not acknowledging anything on my first viewing. And I completely accept that and own that. But at the end of the day, once the dust settles and I know some of you in the comments are going to say, Oh, I knew it in the beginning. Congratulations. I didn't. I'm sorry, you're obviously cooler than me, um, and you're a better Star Wars fan than me. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on it. few things I liked about it, but at the end of the day, there's way too many problems, way too much disrespect, way too much fundamental not understanding this universe and the great characters that made it what it is. So you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.